back and watch it. Because I'm going to be spoiling the shit out of it on you. Otherwise. So yeah, just go back, watch the like other 80 parts of this. 86 parts. That, uh, the, f up the first playthrough of this is like up to part 86. Everything after is the second playthrough. There's going to be spoilers in the second playthrough of it. To be clear. And I'm probably going to be popping back and forth between this and the first and the normal mode. So be sure to watch the other thing. Otherwise, you'll see a lot of spoilers. If you don't care about spoilers, you know, that's fine. You know, th you know that's fine. Do whatever. I'm just simply saying, if you do give a shit about spoilers, uh, you may not want. You may want to see the other stuff. Never, though, personally, I don't understand popping into it, you know, let's play halfway through. I suppose it, it, in one case it's fine if it's just kind of a case of, well, let's see what it's like, and we'll just watch a little bit. But I tend to do that with the first episode. <laughs> I'm sure some other people are different, but that person moonwalks through a wall, that ghost. Interesting. Yeah. More moonwalking ghosts. Interesting. I suppose I should be clearing this place out in its totality and whatnot if I want to be getting as much XP as possible. Armored strain sinkhole of exposure. <laughs> minus 10 percent. I'm um, sorry. Minus 8 percent maximum player resistances plus 20 percent monster physical damage reduction. I'm not sure. Does that mean monsters do 20 percent less damage, or physical damage, or they reduce my physical damage by 20 percent? Yeah, uh, twenty-eight percent increased quantity of items found in this area. Hopefully, I'll get the Val uh, skeleton army, because that's a good one. Summons an army of skeletons, and you can end up with like thirty of them or whatever, if you're properly tricked out. Okay. Probably should try and corrupt these. Well, uh, dominate them. Probably a good idea. Hmm, let's take a look at it. I doubt it will be any good for me. Also, is it odd that my inventory is this empty? Because I'm, uh, I'm a little surprised it's this empty. Normally, in games, my inventory is horribly cluttered. Um, hmm. Oh, then again, I'm a sword and board kind of guy. I'm not a two-hander kind of guy. Plus, anyway, this seemed to be inferior to this. Def definitely inferior with the 72 to 72 lightning damage. It's a bit of a variance, a bit of a white thing, but still. Its highest possible damage is higher than that's po highest possible damage. And I have the benefit of an extra of, of a shield. And can have extra gems on my stuff. So, I'm going to... Well, extra gems active. So, I'm going to stick with what I have. I'm, I'll just go sell the other thing. Van is Ego? No idea what the feck it is. It's some winged behemoth? No, it's winged statue or something. With a giant maw. Not quite big enough to be a behemoth. I'll take them. Uh, no. 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 That now seems to be of interest. Interesting thing to run into here. Vol Fawn. <laughs> Man, hit the guy all the way over there with my AoE attack. Like, that's just the range on it. Not half bad, if I may say so myself. I think I've forgotten Alter back the way, but that's not really a big deal. Fair few bit of Vol Fall in there. Which is. Again, perfect. I'm gonna grab this, take the buff away from them, and give it to me. Where it, should, where it belongs. And being massive actually increases your AoE. Which, considering I'm doing this AoE attack here, quite useful. And Mother of the Hive. Quick, uh, other hours cannot die, resist elemental d damage and uh, chaos. Oh yes, I remember now. If uh, its other allies can't die, they can still die, 
and you can just dominate, take, turn an entire army to your side. It just they'll die, and another one will take their place. So you can just dominate and turn an entire army to your side. It's very, very good. I should rem try and remember that for the next one. If I ever encounter an enemy like that again, to take advantage of that, basically. Ah. I'll hold on to it. I'll read it later. Let's have a look at this. At Rizzi is my love and my life. I give one so that I might have the eternity for. Uh, so I might have the. Uh, so I might have the other for all eternity. They presume we gave their life so they could have her for all eternity, or him. I can't tell, but the person I bet up earlier for all eternity. Well, apparently eternity is a very short time, considering I just bludgeoned the fuck out of them. Okay, I... Yes. I think I was just looking for the map. Can't remember, honestly. I was just hitting, kind of, by force of habit, hitting random keys. Precise Marvel's attendant. I'm just gonna move on. <laughs> Unstable larva. I actually managed to dominate some larva before they died. It's not mo the most useful thing. Also, making them a, sp a specter of them, not the most useful things either. Unsurprisingly, like. Right? Um. Ooh, here's the thing. Christ, keep healing. Fuck. Okay, I'm gonna hit this as well because I'm another. S since you can just dominate so many, it's, it's not very dangerous. Also, so there's Augustina Solera. Solera. And they're. Really fucking dangerous. Really fucking dangerous. Also R and T. Since I haven't played in ages, I've been forgetting to use all my abilities. Excellent. No, no, no. No. These aren't very good. Over here. Uh, Chaos Orb, yes. Blacksmith's Whetstone, yes. Um. No. No. Okay, over here. Yes, and yes. Nothing. I neither of those places. Jeez. The uh, random little critter noise I keep hearing there is really throwing me off because I keep swearing at something like background noise or something. Uh, Ambrosia, daughter of Merv. But yeah, I do like how things tie back together, you know? Like, we, we meet the Wrestle and here's the love of his life. It, it, it's really cool, cool how well it ties, all ties together. I really like it. Christ, move! Thank you, potions. Merville, the Siren, resists elemental damage and chaos. Christ. Painful. Do not like to slow it. Do not like to slow it. Christ. Ooh, that was full heal on low health. Good to know. Don't like how it's a reduced recovery amount as well, but whatever. Repleasant Construct. Hmm. Oh, managed to grab one for myself. Useful. Oh, Christ. Merville the Twisted. Oh. Eh. Stop with the ore. The AoEs. Air of Flame. Alright. 
Nice, interesting. Just kill her now. Thank you. A woman corrupted beyond humanity. I must cure this plague before it sickens all of God's creation. Yeah. Um. Frankie. Bit of a rough fight, honestly. Could have gone smoother, but I know I was very fragile to her attacks. Doreso gave me the gem, kissed me, promised that he would be by my side forever. I sang for him. I sang for Oriath with his gem at my throat. Kalisa's gem. Kalisa's voice. I sang in her echo, performing arias that had once made the Empire weep. I listened to Kalisa's lullabies in my dreams. I gave myself to her music, mind, and body. Uh -huh. Doreso left me for San with a promise to free me from Kalisa. I begged him not to go, tried to show him the wonder of my transformation, the beautiful daughters he would soon meet. He couldn't see. None of them could see. I fled from their hatred. When Dorezo returns, I will cast his cure away. I will teach him what true love is. Honestly, when she said she, she did mind and body, it sounded like she was really turned on by the jam, honestly. But maybe that's just me. Um... Yeah, uh, I should, you know, seductive power being seductive or whatever. You know, seductive element of the gem. Was quite literal. <laughs> quite, quite literal. Uh, how do I portal? I'm too used to uh, Grim Dawn. I haven't played this in quite a while. Doreso gave me no. the gem. Why not? Thank you. Also, I need to remember I've only a little bit of time to get back. To there. First, I thought you brave, then a fool for seeking out Mervale. Fall in love with death. Now, I don't know. The coast is ours, thanks to you. But please, keep one thing in mind for me. What have you become when even nightmares fear you? Fucking badass. Yeah. Quite the lady killer, aren't you? <laughs> that singing squid didn't stand a chance. Knew it from the first time I saw those sharp peepers of yours. Well, pirates notwithstanding, I thank you on behalf of all the fallen brethren of the waves. Now that the final cadence has been played, no one need remember Mervale's song. Indeed they don't. But the, I do, really, I'm gonna go on and emphasize it here. I love how well everything tied back together. It's really nice. Damn me. I didn't think it possible. All these souls Mervale and her brood have consumed over the years. You've done right by those that are dead, and by those who still might live. Yep, I'm a badass. Uh, also, the thing I will say, also that looks really weird, just all the zombie heads together. It's like a very, very, very weird... Uh, fungus or something. The voice acting here I think is better than uh, Grim Dawn. In Grim Dawn a fair few characters to me sound like they're just reading a script. Uh, which I know the voice actors are just reading a script but they're meant to put a bit you know more you know more to it so it doesn't just sound like that. Here they kind of do they do do that. A fair few characters in Grim Dawn don't. It's, I'm not trying to slam Grim Dawn here. It's just that's the only other action RPG I've played in the last while. So it's one I'm going to go to compare it to. Plus I would feel, you know, it's probably unfair to, to be compar comparing it to, I know, either game to, you know, Diablo. Well, not that Diablo's great, it's just, there's plenty of critiques about the story and the mechanics. I'm sure they at least have competent voice actors, you know? Plus I don't remember that game nearly as well as the other two. It's been quite a while since I played it. So yeah, but it's just more like yeah. Uh, it's also kind of it feels a little unfair considering how these are smaller companies, 
making these. This forest, so twisted. I pray that I'm not too late to turn the tide of this corruption. Uh, it just feels a little unfair to compare, you know, small, in like, assume these are indie studios making these to Blizzard, a Blizzard game. Some people are arguing that Pot of Exile is better than Diablo, but I don't want to compare them in any other way. It just feels a little unfair, you know? Because it is just a small, you know, small studio making these and whatnot. Part of me is unsure if I'm even making sense. Uh, never mind. It doesn't matter. Uh, let's go back to the hideout. Now let's talk to you. You want something? Excellent. And do remember to temper your violence with elegance. We have standards to maintain. There's one master I haven't met yet. She's hidden in one place. Um, remember the temple I said I would love the tile set off? She's hidden in there on a certain difficulty. A portal will open there if you're on the right difficulty level. I'm not sure if I am. Let's see who is next on my list. Ah, uh, yes, they'll do nicely. Send this malcontent a message from me, expressing my violent disdain of their current behavior. But do not kill them, you hear? That would only complicate matters. I do like the my violent disdain for their current behavior. It's, it's, and the, the the kind of classy voice he says it in. You know, I I, I really do like that. Red primate gets frenzy points as their kin die. Okay, there's the target and ton of mercenaries. Okay. Flee, 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 flee. This is how you don't do it, kill them if you have a ton of minions. You just run the fuck away. <laughs> a massive fucking army. Because of course. <laughs> oh, beautiful. Oh, they're handling them. No. No. I love it. And anyway, you're over here. Grab this and this. Mm. No. Is any I'm not just not finding any good items here. I might have to wait till, till a bit later. Then maybe then they'll start dropping. When we improve ourselves or the lives of others, someone must invariably bear that cost. Then again, I haven't de'd these. But then again, they're so shit to begin with. I question if they could get any better. Plus, they're not like that stuff. You know, where the change is more dramatic. Also, actually, I never did d check these. Uh, Ondar's clasp wrapped mitts. A single lightning strike. F a single lightning strike fells a man. Single knife stroke fells an empire. Uh. 8% quality, t plus 10 evasion, 3 energy shield, 30% increased attack speed when on full life, uh, 1 to 13 lightning damage on attacks, 58 increased accuracy rating, and 20% increased movement speed when on low life. Nice legendary, but it's a level 5 tank. It's not great. Um, all of transmutation. Hmm. Also, the bad thing of uh, corrupted items just simply means that their gem selection can't be changed without e extra effort. Basically, you get him to level eight, you can then do it. And those will be very costly. Okay, let's let's mosey. Um, let's follow the map. That's what I why I keep hitting M. I, like I said, I played a lot of Grim Dawn, and so I keep, I'm used to hitting M to um, fi bring up the map. I tend to follow the map quite heavily. You know, if I actually grab the Chieftain, he'll probably summon people for me. Poss possibly. I know I've got gotten spawners before and they work for me, but 
maybe that's been changed. Or it doesn't work for him.